Hello, this is Young Kitten Roots, and I will in this short video try to explain why Trondheim is exposed to quick clay spikes. Now, quick clay, normally it is a solid structure, but it is a very fragile stru structure, typically described just like a house of cards, which can easily collapse and become fluid. If it's exposed to some pressure, like heavy machinery, some digging, and etc., that can trigger a quickly landslide, as happened here in Katmarka Namsos, north of Trondheim, in 2009. Or it can be from a little river, starting to become a large river because of heavy rain, and start a road the slides which becomes unstable, like happened at ASP in Trona municipality in 2012. Most of Trona is actually exposed to quick clay slides and the reason is that after the ice age the, we have a continental uplift. Before Trona was below sea level. So if we go back in time some 3600 years, sea level was about 20 meters higher than today. 8300 years it was about 60 meters higher than today. 9600 years ago it was 120 meters and finally if we go back in time 11,000 years just after the ice was disappeared. The marine reference was 175 meters higher than today. That means that where we got our water from, Jonsvane, was not a lake, it was part of the fjord. And Bymarka, with the summit Krokal, it was an island surrounded by the fjord. And this is then obviously also found from quaternary sediment maps or a kind of geological map. If we look at the light blue here, this is mostly parts which were below the sea level. And here we got then marine deposits. And on top of this, I also marked with black lines here, rim of historical creek slots. All of those are within the marine deposits. So it is in the marine deposits we find quickly and marine deposit is therefore a very strong predictor of where we will have quickly slides. So this is then back to cases which were covered by water some 11,000 years ago and we see the rim of historical quickly slides. And one of these rims is from Dudal, close to today's river. And all the area here was then slided out in the river. So we can see it from the map here. This is a Dudal, uh, large here. And all this area was then floated out here blocking the river and causing a lot of damage here, killing some 20 people. And then when the dam broke, it created also a tsunami, making damages further down the hills. Okay, that was a sto short story about quickly landslides in Trondheim.